Okay, so, welcome everybody to another part of my 200 subscriber special. In this video, we will be going over my top 5 favorite monsters I have discovered in Monster Hunter. Please know that this will not be a complete list as I have only ventured into two games so far and with Monster Hunter World just on the horizon there is many more monsters and beasties for me to discover. Also, this is just my opinion, this isn't fact. So if you think differently, please leave your top five list in the comment section below. And with that, let's begin. Coming in at number five, we have everyone's favorite very angry and hungry pickle, the Devil Joe. Now, the Devil Joe is a very odd case to me because the first five times I met it, I didn't even really know what it was. And uh, I was just, uh, the first time it appeared, I was in a hunt with Lucian and I believe we were hunting an Agnactor. It was either an Agnactor or an, or an Uragon, I forget which. But we were in the volcano, and all of a sudden a Devil Joe appeared. I didn't know what it was, so I started attacking it. <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden I just hear Lucian screaming for me to get the fuck out of there. I'm just like, what? I'm just beating this thing up and wanted to get involved. Fine, so be it. And, uh... After it hit me once and over half my health disappeared, I said, oh, okay, I uh, guess I'll leave that alone. Uh... But apart from that, Devil Joe has been, uh... A very, a very fun part of my, my Monster Hunter career. Uh, not only in Generations, but in Monster Hunter stories as well. Uh, Devil Joe... <laughs> Devil Joe once again decided to appear before I could just find it normally in the wild. Uh, I was training out on the, the beachfront, and I entered a high rank... Or not a high rank den, uh, a rare monster den. And the Devil Joe just sort of was there. <laughs> I just let, I, I walked down the one path that didn't lead to the the egg nest, and it was just Devil Joe sitting there. So I was like, "Fuck it, let's do it." Uh, Devil Joe has always been a very interesting monster to me, with the fact that it's literally just all about brute force, uh, and it's very hungry, and so you can take advantage of that. Uh, it's, it's really cool, it's a dynamic fight, and he, when he appears, he's, he's like the top dog, he's the top predator, he takes priority. Number four, we have everyone's favorite hip check artist, the Plesioth. Now, the Plesioth was notably absent from Monster Hunter stories. It made me cry. But, uh, from what I played of Generations, um, the Plesioth is a pain in the ass. With the annoying tendency to sit out in the water and try sh cheap shotting you, and a hit check with the hitbox the size of the Pacific Ocean, Plesioth has been both an annoyance and a joy to fight. It has sparked my rage more than once with its bullshit hitbox, and at the same time, it's brought me great joy. Uh, the weapons that you can make from it are some of my favorites, just because of how they look. And... Plesioth is one of the few water monsters that are actually any good. Um... So yeah, it's got a lot going for it. Uh, Plesioth was one of the f most odd creatures that I saw 
in Monster Hunter Generations. Uh, when I saw it, I was like, this isn't just a dragon. This is just a fish on legs. But... I, I believe it was Plesioth that really sealed in, like, what I was in for while playing Monster Hunter. Number three. Everyone's favorite pain train, the Tigrex. So, the Tigrex is a very, very special monster to me. And it's mainly because it was the first monster that I hunted alongside Lucian that I was better at hunting than him. <laughs> Tigrex is fast, wild, and just overly aggressive. Uh, like the Devil Joe, it tends to just try to use brute force to win all of its fights. But it's a bit faster, and its attack patterns are far more different. Especially with a charge attack that, in high rank, it can link back to back, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, Tigrex has always been a very interesting monster, and its appearance was something that I actually liked. Uh, I thought it actually looked really amazing and its attacks were predictable but at the same time unique to the monster and so it really it really gave off less of a monster hunter fear and uh, and, and more of like a, a dark souls type of feel where you got to make sure you dodge at the right time and you keep your distance when you need to it's it's a really amazing fight, especially when you get really into it. Number two. The Astalos. So, the Astalos was one of the earlier monsters that I fought that... made me smile while fighting it. Uh, I don't really know why I started smiling when I was fighting it, but its attacks are pretty all around. Uh, it has great coverage with its uh, attacks, but it's a giant electric bug dragon, and that is awesome. Uh, just the design of it is top notch, high quality. And all of its attacks are very nice. Keep it as a very balanced monster. It's not like too focused on being super aggressive, but at the same time, it does have those those wild aggressive attacks and stances that it can use when it needs to. Uh, that fucking tail laser, though, that is some of the coolest and cheapest shit ever because it's, like, impossible to dodge. I have never been able to dodge that fucking shit. Astalos All Around has been one of my favorite monsters in the series and will probably continue to be so in the future. And now, before we get to number one, here is a few honorable mentions. Okay, now, for number one, we have the one dragon that can disappear and take your items away. The Camellios. The Camellios was always a... When I first got the quest where I could hunt one, I ignored it for a while because... Uh, when I asked Lucian what it was, he told me it was an Elder Dragon, and so I was like, Elder Dragon, God, that sounds like... 
That, that sounds like a very similar title that I know from Pokemon. Huh, must be a legendary, so I guess I'll leave it until later. When I did fight it, however, it was such an odd and unique oddity. And the way it moves, the way it attacks, is completely alien and different to anything else in the game, and I adore it. It's... It's a monster that really shows the team's attention to detail and ability to create fights that are far different than just your normal dodge slash dodge slash. With the ability to create large poison clouds, defense debuffs, and steal your items, Camellios is a fight that takes patience and intelligence to win, rather than just brute force. The Camellios fight has always uh, been something that I equally love and hate at equal parts, and it is because of just how how interesting and how devoted you could see the team was on making Camellios' fight as good as it is that I have to put Camellios at the top of this list. It's a pretty old monster from what I've seen, but... It's still really good, and the fight holds up even to this day. It's fun, it's engaging, and it's... it's If a monster could still be a high-class annoyance to people with even, like, the highest rank armor and shit in the game, that's a monster that requires more than just good items. That's a monster that requires skill to fight, and it's just such a unique fight because its attacks are not very well telegraphed, so you have to be ready for anything it's about to do. And I love that about Camellios. I love its design, uh, I love its fight, its music is pretty good, and there's not much else I can say about it. It's one of my favorite monsters, if not my favorite monster in the series so far. So, if you like this list, uh, give this video a thumbs up or a like. Subscribe to my channel now if you have not for more content. Thank you all for subscribing. We would not be here at this point without you guys. You guys are very important to me. Thank you so much. And as I stated before, if your list differs, please put it down in the comment section and give your reasons why. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to debate with you guys of what monsters you guys like versus what I like. It's, it's an open world after all. We all have our own opinions. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.